Okay, the next thing we're going to want to do is put a gear onto this axle. But to make my life a little bit easier, I want to select the axle part. I'm going to come up here and change its color to a lightish green just so it's going to be easier to see the edges that we're going to try to be grabbing. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to bring in a gear 24 and there's the part. Now I'm going to allow it to use the automatic constraints and what the constraint is going to be is I'm going to come in here selecting a surface. I'm going to select the surface of the gear that is going to mate with the surface of the the actual part itself. So what I'm going to do is I'll just select this surface of the gear and then come over here and select the corresponding surface of the axle and that puts the two of them together. Alright, now the next thing we're going to do now if I try to do this that just means that this circular surface and those circular surfaces are aligned to each other but there's nothing to say that this gear cannot rotate with respect to that axle so I need to do one more thing I'm going to take this edge over here. So let me select edges. So I'm in still using the automatic um, constraining uh, op options up here. And I'm going to select this edge. So it puts a red line here telling me what edge I've selected. And now I want to come in here and select a corresponding edge. So if I come way in here, you're going to see I'm going to want to select the edge that's defining this corner over here. So let me zoom out a little bit and come around, tilt up a little bit so that we can actually get the right edge. And now it doesn't always want to grab an edge, so I'm just going to come up here to the picker, select edge so I make sure that I get the exact thing that I want. And there we go and now we're only partially constrained because there's one last thing we need to do. I need to mate or tell it that I want this surface of the gear to be a certain distance from the axle. Now you'd be tempted to say you want it to be some distance from this uh, from the brick, the actual beam, but if you do that you are constraining this gear to something that is fully constrained. You want to make sure that this gear is fully constrained to the axle and it's the axle that has some rotation. If you constrain it to this brick you will not be able to rotate it. So we'll say we'll utilize the surface of the axle and we'll bring it back a certain distance. Let's make it, oh I don't know, how about seven? And once we're there, we can say that we're done. And we can come up to the hand and show that as we drag the gear, the axle moves. And likewise, as I drag the axle, the gear moves. All right, and that finishes this part.